Great. So, moving further down the line, you can see here, come to an area where we have what's called a step footing. And a step footing, basically and simply, just allows for an elevation change in the footing. Now, what would require an elevation change in the footing? Well, our bottom of footing needs to be four foot minimum below grade, which is somewhere in there. And uh, you can see as we go around here, the grade significantly drops off here along the riverside. And if we kept that footing at the same height, we would be over here and we'd be about 16 inches below grade. So we needed to push that down. And the way you push the wall down is via stepped footing. So basically it's just a 90 degree bend in the footing that comes back out to a lower elevation. All the things we talked about already apply down there, but take a peek down here into the step. You notice in the step we have our J bar, but our horizontal bars, they go, they turn down and then they run into the lower footing. And we have a pair of those and you can see down below those turn. And our fast footing, that just goes and follows the slope down. We have our plywood end dam here. So we get a little bit extra concrete reinforcement in this area just by virtue of having more concrete. But basically the footing goes vertical for that two feet, three feet, and then comes out the other side and continues around. But that allows for that elevation change and that gives us a nice clean wall then to butt the new foundation wall up against and then we'll pick up our coursing and uh, go from there. So step footings, gotta love them.